my Valor Quackers, Valor Quackers, Valor Quackers, Sad Nam, Namaste. I'm so glad you can join me. Today we're going to talk about racing thoughts and how to deal with these racing thoughts because a lot of people that I know and myself included, I am not excluded from this suffering, has this problem with racing thoughts. And let me just correct one thing here. A racing mind is indeed a good thing. When your mind is running full kilter, bam, 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 full RPM, that can be a good thing if it is set in the right place mode so if you are having racing thoughts but all these thoughts are good sincere genuine beautiful thoughts you're not gonna think for one second man I don't want to be thinking anymore I just wish my brain would shut up but if you're having a bad thought and you're having all these negative uh, Nancy's running through your head telling you you can't do this and you can't do that and and this is in your way and that's in your way and you can't do this because of that uh, sometimes man those thoughts will hold you down and you just want to be free from the thought process altogether so let's jump right into it I'm not gonna waste your time today and I'm gonna race right through this number one okay Purge your perspective. And I'm talking about don't give your thoughts so much merit. When you give your thoughts merit all the time, and I'm bad about this, I give my thoughts merit a lot. I'll write them down, I'll sit there and just like ponder and ponder and ponder and ponder. But we have to remember that these are just thoughts, they are not real. They are a combination of imagination and memory and what we put together and what we think is going to be the outcome of said situations that's most of the time what our thoughts are clinging to so if you're having trouble with a racing mind just kind of try to blow it off try to remember that these are just imaginings and these are just your memories coming back coming back and forth okay Number two, move your body, okay? Get moving, okay? Because a lot of the time when we're having these racing thoughts, what's happening is we have a lot of energy, and okay, I am very guilty of this suffering. I have so much just energy I want to, woo, explode out there. So what we do is we move our bodies around a little bit, give this energy some type of form and expression, and you'll find that now you're not having these racing thoughts. Now you're actually putting this energy into something valuable, okay? Now the next thing is one of my favorites. Number three is speak in tongues. Okay, a lot of the times, like I said, we have that energy inside us. It's seeking expression and we just don't know how to do it. So sometimes it's good to just do a little bit of improv and just The dumber you look, the more ridiculous you look, the better because it's going to kind of switch your modes inside your mind and you're going to begin to feel a little bit more at ease with your surroundings, right? Excuse me. Number four, Vipassana. And this is the exact opposite of speaking tongues and moving your body and stuff like that. It's sitting in still and quiet meditation. Simply observing our thought processes and what's going on, laughing at what ridiculousness seems to be going through our head, whatever it happens to be, however tough the situation may be, just remember that you are acting ridiculous no matter what. We are ridiculous creatures, all right? So sit down and do Vipassana just for two minutes 
a day and this is gonna help to kind of end that compulsion a lot of the times we have these compulsive thoughts that keep firing and firing and firing and firing like I said I am guilty of this suffering so bad so I know this uh, problem all too well Vipassana is gonna help reprogram the mind so that you're not just firing thought after thought after thought after thought okay and it's gonna kind of bring your compulsion down to a quieter level now number five goes right along with that and that is a vow of silence which I have been playing around with these vows of silence and uh, let me tell you something it's really going to open your mind to a lot of things, but it's also going to go right along with that vipassana and slow down that compulsive thought process. It's going to give you a more observant thought process, okay? And then number six, okay? Number six is be less judgmental of yourself. Be less judgmental of what you're doing. Be less judgmental of what you're thinking. Look, the more you judge yourself, the more you turn your intelligence in on itself, the more it's going to rip itself apart. And like I said, along my journey for the last couple years, I have been ripping myself apart and putting myself back together and ripping myself apart. And the judgment is too much okay have some compassion on yourself have a, a, a loving heart and just just observe yourself and that brings me to number seven okay number seven is culture that observant mind okay when we get into these compulsions when we get into these habits we get into these thought processes it becomes habit it becomes compulsion okay so what we have to do to battle that and the only thing we can do is be 100 percent involved in whatever we're doing and that is gonna lead us to that special bliss that is just whoo breathing in that good ass bliss breathing in that good ass prana okay I love you guys. You guys have a wonderful day. Namaste. Satnam. Valakwakas. Get ridiculous today. And just remember, you are loved. You are respected. This universe is always working in your favor. Remember, like and subscribe to the Son of Man, please. Thank you. Have a wonderful day.